Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Limkuhler, Extension Professor and Beef Cattle Specialist at the University of Kentucky. For the last few days, much of the United States has been hit with a pretty severe heat wave. Uh, this has continued for several days and the forecast shows it will continue in the next couple days. When we've got ruminant species, particularly beef cattle, out in pastures and forage-based systems, it's important that we ensure that they can handle the heat stress and heat loads. One way we can help mitigate heat stress on livestock is to provide shade, similar to the shade structure that we have here behind us. It's about um, 9.30 in the morning and you can see the, the cattle here are already seeking shade. Um, this tells us that it's important that uh, the cattle have a place to be able to get out of the sun, reduce that solar radiation that can increase heat load on those livestock. Shade can be in the form of natural shade such as trees and, and it can also be man-made structures like these. Um, when you think about how much shade should be provided per head, uh, I like to tell people to think about the, the length of the animal and then multiply that by the width of the animal. So if we're dealing with mature cows, that might be seven feet by three feet, which is 20 to 25 square feet per head. Um, now that's just to take into account the animal. We want to ensure that there's sufficient space in between animals to reduce crowding. And so the general recommendations may be 30 to 40 square feet per head to allow animals to get in there and, and uh, not be stacked on top of one another to provide uh, some of that heat to be able to be dissipated through convection losses or the ambient temperature and, and kind of air movement around them and dissipating that heat uh, that away. Also by providing shade, one thing we know uh, when we look at ground temperatures, uh, the ground temperature underneath shaded areas is going to be much less than uh, the temperature of that soil or ground in full sunlight or out in the sunlight. And so that may be 20 to 30 degrees difference in temperatures, uh, particularly on bare ground or concrete surfaces. And uh, we want to ensure that those cattle can find a cooler area uh, to go to help dissipate that heat. Uh, the other thing to think about is uh, the ability to to use natural shade such as trees. A lot of times the cattle will, will go just to the kind of edge of the forest or edge of the woods, if you will, because remember they're prey animals and they want to ensure that they can see um, a wide area to, to look for predators. Uh, so you may see some soil disturbance right on that edge. So one thing we can do to mitigate that disturbance and, and uh, reduce the damage that may occur, because if we have a lot of damage uh, on the soil surface, it may get so bad uh, through natural wallows that are going to be built up from frequent urination and defecation in those areas that it could damage the roots of the trees. So rotational grazing is one thing we can do to, to mitigate that and minimize the damage that may occur underneath our trees and frequently moving animals uh, to other areas that have trees for that natural shade can be done. Uh, if not, you can use temporary electric fence and a solar charger to fence off areas and, and minimize that and control where they have access uh, to the shade and, and keep that uh, area minimally disturbed and then give it plenty of time to recover and rest. So if you want, are interested in building natural shade structures, uh, Dr. Higgins has produced a publication that you can search online uh, through the University of Kentucky Extension publications and shade structures and pull those plans down. You can go to your Cooperative Extension office and visit with your agricultural natural resources agent for more information as well. So as you move through the next few days, I'd encourage you all to watch your livestock for signs of heat stress, increased respiratory, uh, mouths hanging open and panting. Ensure that they have access to plenty of cool, fresh water. Uh, we want to make sure those water troughs have been cleaned out and uh, they don't have uh, manure and, and other things that have fouled them that may reduce the water intake because with the increased respiration rate and sweating, uh, the animals are going to have a higher need for water. With that, I encourage you to reach out to us if you have any questions and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.